event. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the main event of the evening? <laughs> Garrett Gross comes to the cage right now. Like you said, he bumped up to 185 pounds. Now, I am very certain that this is just his walk around weight. I think he weighed in about 183, 184 maybe. But Garrett trains all year round. And the thing with Garrett is he is an athlete. Now, he has been training an American top team with some of the top guys in the past. Let's just see how that, how that knowledge has been you know, project it onto him and what he's absorbed, and let's see if he can, uh, you know, uh, handle Aaron Highfield's explosive power. He's training out of Saban's Martial Arts and 618 Fight Fitness right now. Record of, says 11 and 10 on my record, 11 and 9 on here. So he's somewhere in that range. And like you said, 5 foot 9. Highfield's 5 foot 11, so there's only a couple inches difference there. It's going to come down to reach, which I think the reach is a little bit different because Garrett's got a pretty decent reach for his height, and so does Heifel. Heifel's, uh, it's almost even. Yeah, I'm excited for this fight, so we're going to take the mic to bring in the red corner contender. And now, his opponent making his way in the red corner, Aaron Heifel. Aaron Heifel, one of my favorite guys. Always, always, always comes to put on a show, loves heavy metal, and loves to swing for the fences. This will be one for the ages, folks. Yeah, he's training out of KBC Garage for this one. That's Quentin O'Brien. Quentin is a former glory kickboxer. He's well known in the area for his skill set, teaching ability. Aaron's sitting at six and three now. He's had nine professional fights, obviously, with that six and three record. Uh, highlight of his career, 32nd knockout win. We stepped up over and went up to 85, knocked out Ty Flores. And he's been going back and forth, welterweight and middleweight here the last couple of years. The sheet metal worker by trade, so depending on the seasons when he can take fights. And uh, his last fight was December 2019, a victory over Dominic Garcia. So we'll see what he's bringing here. He should have been adding some more tools with some knees and elbows. Definitely with the Muay Thai style with Quentin. And Aaron's been known as a stand-up fighter. He's also a grinder. He's strong as hell too. And you know, he's not afraid to just kind of bull rush somebody to get the body lock, put him down and bury him. Absolutely. I'm excited to see what Aaron's going to bring to the cage and how Garrett's going to counter counter everything. This is the main event for a reason, guys. This is, a, this is why you bought the tickets. This is why you bought the pay-per-view. This is why you showed up. I really don't see this hitting the ground, but you never know. Anything can happen. I think he's always fought in those sprawl shorts. Yeah, they look like it. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the main event of the this contest is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the NFA Professional Middleweight Division. Brought to you tonight by Brad Carey Realtor. And now, for all those watching live on pay-per-view at NemesisBodyAlliance.com. And for those here in Arnold, Missouri, are you ready for war? Corner. This freestyle fighter stands five foot nine, weight in 182.8 pounds. He holds a professional record: 11 wins, 10 defeats. Representing Saban's Martial Arts and fighting out of Duquesne, Illinois, Garrett Glory to God Gross. <laughs> this opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, is a freestyle fighter standing five foot eleven, weight in 184.3 pounds. He holds a professional record: six wins, three defeats. Representing KBC Garage and fighting out of Bunker Hill, Illinois, Aaron Highfield. We're going to to the action, Tim Francis. This is going to be a fun one. One thing about Aaron Highfield is he always has a certain smell about him. I love that about Aaron. To touch him up. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, Garrett gets right in his face. He's trying to time that. I think he probably wants to shoot under and try to get him on the ground. Both these guys, two experienced veterans. Guys are both gamers. 
Aaron with a clinch. good jab. Aaron's always had a heavy, heavy hook. I'd like to see him set that up though with maybe a you know a jab into a cross, you know, just a standard one, two, three. Surprisingly, Garrett was looking for the takedown here. I didn't see this coming tonight. But well, I think he, he might have he might have got clipped a little bit with him, felt a little bit of the power. I mean, you know. Aaron's really strong in this position. Good knee to the body there. It's hard to know if there's much of a weight difference here because Aaron was on weight the day of weigh-ins kind of walking around. Maybe he was a pound over. So it, there is a size difference from... Yeah, I think, I think they're probably roughly about the same weight right now. I mean, I think it's kind of more than both their natural walking around body weight. I think Aaron probably, you know, getting in shape lost some weight. But I think this is Garrett's natural weight just walking around which a lot of times I think is, is a good thing. Aaron digging in, looking for the elbows in the inside right there. Garrett with a nice uppercut. Another reversal. Good knee the body from Aaron there. Yeah, I like that busy work like that. I think little shots to the body like that take a little bit away, take a little bit away. Aaron, Aaron as strong as it gets. Oh, oh Garrett with a great reversal. reversal. Snatches up a guillotine. Aaron rolls right out of it, but ends up inside, getting side control. And that someone's cut. Looks like it might be Aaron. Could be Aaron's nose. Garrett's searching for the guillotine all Aaron day long. Does a good Aaron job gets right on top. Out. Aaron's got a power guillotine. Oh, I thought he had oh. a power guillotine Look right close there. close for a second. I got excited. Yeah, Aaron's, Aaron's definitely bleeding a little bit. I can't tell if it's on his nose or his eyebrow. Those knees will add up over time. Yeah, maybe it's his forehead. I don't know. Bridge of the nose, it looks like. Now Garrett's looking for the takedown right here, but Aaron it takes a lot of effort to pick somebody up like that. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Garrett Got to watch a Kamora trap here. Yeah, Garrett doing, Garrett doing a good defense right here. Now the one thing I will say is Aaron Heifel is very strong. So it's gonna be it's gonna be kind of hard to. He rolls his thumb up. out. Now yeah. Aaron ends up on top. Half guard for Aaron. Seen a little bit of everything in this round already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aaron's just looking to kind of pin him down and get that position so he can start landing some ground and pound. Garrett's either trying to figure out what he can do for a sweep, stand up, or even go for a, a submission off his back. Well, out here in the open, he's going to have to get some separation by pushing off Heifel's head. If he can do it, Aaron is very forward. He's going to let the chip at the body. This is the basically the sweeper submit position because it's going to be hard to stand up. You can't use the fence. Aaron covering the mouth here. And the thing about Aaron staying higher up there is when he gets lower, that's when he's getting hit with those spike elbows from top like that. Yeah. The, oh, a nice triangle by Garrett Gross. He threw it up. Too Aaron sweaty for that right, right now. Good luck, though. That was quick. You see Aaron's right here with 15 seconds left. Really? I, I, I mean, this first round so far is a toss-up. Close round. There was a couple uh, submission attempts by both guys. There were, was a reversal especially on the, the fence. Uh, the way the round's ending, you probably have to give it to Heifel because he I, ended on top. I agree with you. I think you give it to Aaron Heifel for that first round because he had more just dominant positions. I mean, the cage wrestling was 50-50. The striking was 50-50. Garrett had two submission attempts to Aaron's really just kind of a one. But 
you look at dominance, I think you give that to, to Aaron Highfield for that round. Once again, this main event is brought to you by Brad Carey Realtor. Even in the age of the internet, word of mouth referrals are still the top way for people to find their new real estate agent. You never know what friend might need Brad Carey's help. Call 314-378-6939 to get you started. Brad Carey, official main event sponsor of Nemesis Body Line 6. On down to round number two, out of Missouri, make some noise! We're starting of round number two in a three round fight here in the middleweight division for NFA. I can't really see what adjustments have been made on either side. I mean, if you're, if, if in, in my opinion, you're Aaron, I think you're looking to get back on top. Garrett with a big high kick followed by a right hand. This is what we were looking for, folks. Looking for that uppercut. See, he dips to the right to load that uppercut. These guys are swinging. Well, that's for the a dangerous game to play. It's a date for both for both yeah, guys. Yeah, absolutely. I've seen I've seen Highfield get knocked out. I've seen Garrett get knocked out. Much faster pace this second round. Another reversal. You see, Aaron here can get his right leg around there and look to rotate him off. Because his feet are together. Eric can drop for a double here. Yeah, but I think once he drops, Garrett, he, he knows what's going on. He's going he's to spread those hip, those legs, get those hips wide, big wide base. See right here, I think Garrett needs to put his forehead under Aaron's chin. Good oh, trip takedown. That, take down. that I double love that takedown. <laughs> But right here, he's got to be careful of Garrett throwing these uh, these little spiky elbows right over the top just to cause little cuts. I don't think you're going to end the fight or anything, but they, they could cause a cut with a lot of blood. It gets annoying. Yeah, as long as he stays his head high, he doesn't really have to be in a rush here. No, not at all. Garrett's going to gradually make his way over to the cage. And you want to use the cage to get up, but there's this little sweet spot where if your head gets pinned against there and you don't have any leverage, you don't have any cushion for any shots taken. You're getting hit in the front, and the back doesn't yeah. have any any room to go. Yeah. Well, what Garrett needs to do is get that underhook and just come out the try to come out that back door. Highfield did a great job by grabbing up that head, almost like a guillotine, like you're using it for position. But I like to grab the bottom of the the, the underneath side of the chin. There you go. Nice little knee to the body there. Busy work is what I call that. Busy work. So Aaron just moved to a nice, nice short elbow there. Right there. He's doing a good job. His head getting in there to get that arm free. He's got to watch his head out in the pocket on that side. Yeah, Garrett's doing a good job of getting his back up the wall. Now I don't know if Garrett's cut or if that's Highfield's blood, but. Garrett's doing a good job of getting his back up onto that cage and he's gonna try to wall walk as he gets up. That was a good knee there. Aaron's loading up another one. Good body, knee to the body right there. Causes Garrett Gross to just kind of collapse back down, kind of go to a safe spot. Garrett shows the athleticism right there. Grabs a guillotine, goes for a couple knees. Is that uppercut. uppercut attempt again. Fire oh, Highfield now. got clipped. Garrett uppercut. Garrett Gross jumps on top and finishes Aaron Highfield. Wow. wow. Maybe a tad bit early in the stoppage, but I don't know if the end result was going to be any different. All Garrett needed was that little bit of explosion to get up and end the fight. Wow. That was impressive. Wow. It looked like Garrett Gross landed a couple shots. That uppercut is what he's looking for the whole time. Yep. Landed that uppercut there at the end, which kind of buckled Highfield. I don't think he was out. I think I think the ref might have jumped in just a tad bit too quick. But I, I don't know if it would have ended any different. Garrett wasn't going to stop. Yeah, they were in that mode where they were both swinging away. And at that one, it's, 
But almost who connects first. It, absolutely, absolutely. Well, Garrett did a good job of he would throw, and then he actually slipped and rolled to the left because Highfield was just throwing some heat with those hooks. Well, he really had to dig deep because he was way behind here on this side, and he ate a couple of knees that looked like his body deflated. Yeah. And uh, I thought that was going to start to bring the air out the I, tire. It might be toward the end of it, but he ended up getting a scramble. He weighed it and bumped, and as he did, he separated, and, and he did a good job there. I mean, he just exploded. I agree. I thought Aaron was starting to take the wind out of him with those knees to the body. But it just shows you that, like we said, both these guys are gamers and they do not ever quit. This solid fight, I mean, it went all over the place. fight for a packed, packed venue here in Arnold, Missouri. I think NFA outdid themselves once again. Yeah, there were really good fights tonight. No doubt about it. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Tim Francis called the stop of the fight. Three minutes, ten seconds into the second round, declaring the winner by TKO Garrett Glory to God! Hey Garrett, congratulations, man. Wow, dude, that was a finish of, you know, the best way you can finish a night of fights, man. Just a stand up, toe to toe, throw all you got into the, into the fight. And you caught him. Congratulations. Uh, that was amazing. And your thoughts on the fight? Uh, first of all, I'm going to God. Um, my wife, my wife, um, everybody, my church, um, you know, they helped me through this game. I'm um, on the fight. I knew that I was going to go through my summer first. And it was still on the game. I made it. I didn't want to go to the ground with me. So that was kind of the game plan. Get, get it through the first round. You know, and I wasn't worried about it. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands up.